guys welcome back to the vlog um just doing a quick update this week not a whole lot going on i have um been taking my medication so i am now on cycle day 10 and i am now taking two milligrams of estradiol, uh, which is estrogen, um, twice a day now. Um, I am done my antibiotic. I finished that a couple of days ago. And so it's just the estradiol, the nasal spray five times a day still, um, the prenatal in the evening, and um, I take the estradiol again in two, two milligram tabs, again in the evening and um, my low dose aspirin so that is what i'm on right now that is what i will continue to stay on for the next couple days and then on cycle day 12 i will up my estradiol to three milligrams um, twice a day so i'll take three pills in the morning three at evening i will still continue my nasal spray five times a day still be taking my prenatal and still be taking my baby aspirin and that will be what I stay on until I go in on May 27th. So that will be cycle day 17. I go in and I get my baseline ultrasound. So my ultrasound to check my lining and check everything out to know if I will be able to go ahead and start prepping more for my frozen embryo transfer. So I will know more um, hopefully on next Monday, so a week from today. Um, didn't really have much of a busy week this week um, as far as kind of my trying to conceive IVF journey. Um, I did have a interesting um, cycle this month where I actually um, did get my cycle relatively on time, but I had absolutely no cramps and no um, symptoms. Like I have never ever in my whole entire life of getting my period ever gotten my period and not been in excruciating pain, like excruciating. So this time I kind of got it and I was like, this can't be my period. Like I feel fine. That's never ever happened to me before. So um, I kind of started it a little bit on a Friday and I thought like, hmm, this is weird. And it wasn't TMI. I'm just whatever. But my period in general was just very different this month. Um, it was short. It was not how my normal flow is. And I thought that was really strange because A, I had absolutely no symptoms, which has never happened to me in my life. Plus my, um, my flow is different. So I thought that was interesting. I went to my acupuncturist and I told her and she was like, Oh my God, that's amazing. Like she was really happy. Um, because her treatment is all geared towards, um, blood flow and all of that and helping with my endometriosis symptoms. So I thought that was really interesting, but I was like, Oh, it's, you know, acupuncture, even though I had done acupuncture before, maybe it has to do with something like that and then i'm gonna say on like cycle day seven or whatever i seven or six i think i um went to bed one night and i just kind of didn't feel very good and so i wasn't sure what that was about um but i never thought anything of it and then the next morning same thing i kind of woke up and i was kind of nauseous and i didn't feel very good so i was like this is weird and then i went to work and i i I didn't eat breakfast that morning and I went to work and I literally was like choking down, throwing up. Like I was so nauseous for like an hour and I got like all that pre vomiting stuff. Like I got like, I mean, Corey call it the sweaty mouth where like your saliva starts to build before you throw up. And like, it was just like really strange. And I kind of had this thought like, there's no way, there's no way, like, I, there's no way I could be pregnant for a few reasons. Honestly, my husband and I did not do it in the right, here comes the dog, 
we did not do it in the right time frame. Um, you ovulate on cycle day 14, but I shouldn't have even ovulated because I'm on the nasal spray. So I just thought it was like really, really weird, but I left it. And then that night again, I felt nauseous again. And like, I just, it was strange. Anyways, I thought like, what the hell? I have a thousand. I'm gonna take a pregnancy test. So I took one and you guys are gonna be like, oh my God, and it was negative. It was nothing. There it is. Yeah, so I took one, it was negative, so I don't know what was going on with that. That was a bit stressful. Um, so yeah, other than that, we're just on track for the frozen embryo treatment. And I didn't really think I was pregnant, but I just, those combination of those two things together kind of made me think that I should just test to make sure. Um, I didn't go, I had tests at home. I didn't go buy any, a test or anything like that, so. Anyway, so that's where we're at, and sorry I'm moving around so much. Fern is wanting all of the attention. It's a rainy, a miserable day today. Oh, you guys probably haven't seen him. We literally cut all his hair off for the summer, so he's bald. So that's cool. Um, oh, we gotta turn around. You can't get the light. Come here. There. So... We've just been hanging out today because it's a rainy day. And so there's not much going on. Anyway, so I have my ultrasound next week and I will put a new video up on Monday when I get the results. Thank you for watching. If you wanna to continue to follow my journey Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. Bye guys. Say bye.